Hello. Sometimes tea is not the answer. Sometimes cookies are the answer. Welcome to Master Chang's channel. This wasn't part of the deal. Hey, and welcome back to Hoodie Style Channel. As you can see, we have a guest with us today who um, insisted on being here. This is my dear neighbor, Master Chang. He insisted because we asked him to like and subscribe to our videos. Anyway, let's get straight to the point and give you some ideas for your Raspberry Pi 4 projects. Number five, a sixabot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Number five, a discrete media server. The Raspberry Pi 4 is small but has great potential. Just like a Mr. Changsa toolkit. I thought I told you to leave. The Raspberry Pi 4 can make for a nice invisible media player. It's capable of outputting 4K at 60 Hz and can do hardware decoding for HEVC or H.265 files. You can easily install Kodi with LibreLX as base OS. Then you can hide away your Raspberry Pi behind your TV or in a cabinet and stream your movies from a network or USB drive. If this is a project that interests you, follow link number five in our description. May I ask you something? No. Number four, home automation server. If you haven't already ventured into the world of home automation, this is a perfect chance to start. Most smart devices today are either using Zigbee, Z-Wave or Wi-Fi protocols. Just get yourself a few devices, maybe some light sources as a start and a USB controller, for example, an AOTech Z-Stick for Z-Wave or Conbee for Zigbee and install Home Assistant on your Raspberry Pi. Home Assistant has some nice UI options and you can easily add a touchscreen to your Raspberry Pi. And then boy! Well, what he said, you can easily make a touch controlled home automation center. Number three, music player with old school buttons. Imagine if you could have your whole Spotify library available in a vintage format. Just look at this. This is the awesome work of Matt Brailsford. It is based on a Raspberry Pi, of course, with the GPIO wired to the hardware buttons. With the help of Mopedi, you can have your Spotify library on your Raspberry Pi and then the hardware style and the design is only limited by your imagination. How about a Winamp looking hardware player? Or a gutted old boombox with Raspberry Pi internals? It's all about execution, so make sure you check out Matt Brailsford's YouTube account if you're interested in something like this. I have an idea. No time. Number two. Number two. What? What's your idea? New channel segment, the Master Chan's Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, custom emulator. By now you've probably seen a thousand emulator projects, but like I said before, execution is everything. If you've recently tried playing some old school games on your modern TV, you might have noticed that it just didn't feel right. If that is what she said. You're gonna get us canceled. The reason the old games don't feel the way you remember them is most likely because of the controller delay and the smudged out graphics. There is a perfect solution to all this and that is the RGB Pi. This thing makes it possible to output a very clean RGB signal via the GPIO which results in a near pixel perfect picture with a very low lag. The downside is you need a CRT TV, but it's really worth the nostalgic experience. Initially, RGB Pi wasn't compatible with Raspberry Pi 4, but nowadays it is, and that opens the door for perfect arcade emulation. So get yourself some hardware and get started. What? What, no comments? I am waiting for number one, AI sex bot. I can assure you there are no sex bots on this list mr opportunity <laughs> number one a smart mirror of course and naturally we got you covered on this one just start watching project elizabeth episode one project elizabeth yes sounds like a sex bot go home Channel. 
Master Chang Chan No. Master Chang Chan No.